What's going on, you guys? It's Be a Boy, Scattered by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we're talking about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. What is going on, you guys? What is going on on this beautiful Sunday afternoon? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up. Now, tomorrow is the season finale of season four of the Whether You Like It or Not reality TV panel, okay? And it will be featuring all six main cast members and also the two rotating guests, Ray. G and L Teddy 27 as we sit down and we talk about the last part of tonight's Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. Make sure you guys are in tune and make sure you guys are ready, okay? Also, be sure to tune in on Tuesday night for um, the return of Roast Review with SWV and Escapes, the Queens of R&B. Myself, Terrence, and Josiah will be rotating the panel between the three of us, and we will be roasting and reviewing this show. We're very excited, and we cannot wait, okay? The show airs tonight at 9.30, 8.30 Central, all right? Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's mess. Now, as you guys already know, the SWV and Escape Reality Show, The Queens of R&B, is airing tonight. It will be premiering tonight. There have been a lot of great clips that has been out it is showing us that this show is going to be absolutely amazing i cannot wait to see it okay i know it's going to be full of drama and organic drama at that because these women actually know each other and they have a real history with one another now as you can see it's been these three women representing for escape for the last few months that's candy burris tamika tiny harris as well as tamika scott okay now they were tamika and tiny were with candy they did like this little live or whatnot and um tamika scott apologized to candy and tiny and i felt like that was pretty interesting so with that being said let's get into um tamika apologizing to candy and tiny and her reasoning for her apology. Let's get into it, y'all. You know, obviously there was a, a big change, and, and everybody was like, kind of like in this place of not knowing what our next what was move next. Yes. was going to be. So well, let me let me, my, apo let me apologize to y'all. What? For, let me apologize because <laughs> I was young, mm -hmm. I was naive, and it's a lot of stuff I'm still learning right now. You know, a lot of stuff. You know, I'm not trying to get emotional that I'm going through right now. Oh, to be good, don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. But the young me was different. The mature me is a, a wife, a mom, a grandma. So it's it's a lot different now. I have responsibilities now. I can't sit and not do, you know what I'm saying? I have to now put Tamika first and not just my mom and my sister. And for years, it's always my, my sister has been first. Y'all know that. I, I don't pick unless she fit. Whatever she wanted to do, I wanted to do because I'm loyal to my family. That's what loyalty was for me. Even when the decisions, you know, hurt me, but I knew at the end of the day, my family was proud of me. That was deep. So that was Tamika basically apologizing to Candy and Tiny and basically saying that a lot of her decisions were family based and family oriented. And those decisions made her fall short a lot of the times. And you know what? I think there's a reason why I've always liked Tamika Scott. And there's a reason why I've always liked her more than I like Latasha. Um, I thought that was very honest. I thought that was a very real and transparent answer. And I think that a lot of us can definitely um, agree and, um, you know, attest to that. A lot of us have done things for the sake of family and done things that would be in the best interest of our family and not necessarily in the best interest of us. I know that a lot of the things that I've done has probably stifled me and put me in situations where I was complacent simply because I wanted to be there for my my family and not really realizing that there was another world out there for me outside of my family. So we all go through things like that. And sometimes, you know, family can be a lot, um, they can be a they can be very persuasive. They can try to make you see things from their point of view and make you see things from their side and manipulate you into doing things that you probably would not want to do, but they, you know, put in the word family and they make family be so um, what's the word I'm looking for? They make family sound so, um, 
imperative. You know, they feel like, you know, when you're family, you're supposed to th- do things just for the sake of family. But sometimes family don't do things and it's for the sake of you. And you realize that what's best for the family may not be what's best for you. And I think that's the thing that Tamika is realizing because she put her sister and her mother ahead of herself. And a lot of the reasons being is because she noticed she, that escape was something that she wanted to do, but she did not do it because her sister didn't want to do it. And she had to sit back and, you know, just like she said, she got responsibility. She's a grandmother. She's not just a mom. She's a grandmother. She's a wife. She just cannot afford to sit back and not do things anymore just because her family doesn't want her to do it. She got to do things for herself because she got a family of her own. So I definitely understand where Tamika is coming from. And I think a lot of us do. So I really resonate with that comment and with that, with that statement. And I'm glad that she did apologize to Candy and Tiny. She did go against them for the sake of her sister. And I'm not really holding her um, um, holding her accountable for that or holding that against her because, you know, at the end of the day, family is family. And, you know, you're going to always ride for your family. But sometimes we have to realize what we're riding for and why we're riding for them and make sure that it's not detrimental to the things that we want to do in life and all of that stuff. So, a lot, like, I definitely feel, Tamika, I definitely do. And I ain't mad at her. I swear to God, I ain't mad at her for that. So shout out to Tamika for having a mind of her own and realizing what's more important, and that is herself. So um, with that being said, you guys, how do you feel about Tamika Scott apologizing to Candy and Tiny? What do you guys feel about that? Make sure you guys leave it down below so we can talk about it. With that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scott by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, Instagram and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here. Until the next one, I will see you guys a little bit later. Rest in peace, Danita. Bye, y'all. See y'all for my Real Housewives of Potomac Live. What's up, guys? It's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B. It's got a little bit of pop. It's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out all streaming platforms. Like I said, please check me out. And you can also follow me at I am underscore Tramel. That's I am underscore T-R-A-M-E-L. Check me out. I hope to hear from you.